I was falling more in love with Riften every day, but then he had to leave unexpectedly on a goblin raid. I worried about his safety and wanted him by my side. Riften was also sad to say goodbye, even though he knew his duty. I don't like the idea of leaving our warm bed to sleep on the frozen ground. Before he left, I wanted to show Riften that I would miss him, and that he meant the world to me. Hebron told me about a tradition in Anatol where warriors wore tassels for luck in battle. I gave a tassel to Riften, and he was touched. E if you don't like it, you don't have to- Give it here. Thank you. I'll cherish it. I didn't know he'd like it this much. Had I known, I would have gotten him something so much better. He's a hero who deserves all the love and praise in the world. But no sooner had Riften left that monsters attacked. The knights bravely fought them off, but many people were wounded. Ruth rushed to heal them with his magic, and I went towards the danger to help. Afterwards, I started to learn medicine so I could be more useful in the future. But Ruth suggested I learn magic instead, because of my mana affinity. Can I truly become a sorceress? When Riften returned, I was so excited to see him. We ran to one another. He kissed me in front of everyone, embarrassing me. Had I known I'd received such an ardent welcome, I would have burned the mountain down to return immediately. Then he carried me to the castle and swept me away with passion. I burn for you, Maxie. I craved his hot kisses, and he told me he wanted to give me everything. Maxie, if there's anything you want, you can always tell me. But I was still afraid that if Riften found out the truth about me, he would be disappointed. To lose his love and affection would destroy me. We held a celebration banquet for Riften's return, but being around so many people made me anxious. Drinking alcohol relaxed me and made me reckless. After I embarrassed myself drunkenly, Riften took me back to our room, but I fell asleep in his arms. The next day, Riften was disappointed in me, and I promised it would never happen again. When Riften went outside to punish his men for giving me alcohol, I studied with Ruth. Ruth taught me about the power of elemental magic, and it made me wonder if I could learn it someday. Riften noticed how much time I was spending with Ruth, and he got jealous. Maxie, do you like intelligent men? I assured him he had nothing to worry about. I wasn't interested in Ruth romantically. This satisfied him, until he learned I was studying magic. Then he was furious. Riften wanted me to live a comfortable life, even though I was learning magic to help him. Didn't you hear me? I don't need your help. I felt rejected and miserable, but Riften apologized and said he didn't mean it like that. He showed how much he needed me by making passionate love to me. Just a little more, Maxie. Yes, like that, you're driving me crazy. Then Riften reluctantly gave me permission to continue my magic studies. One day, Ruth said it was time to test my healing magic on the Remdragon Knights. They rudely turned down my help, and one of Riften's most loyal knights insulted my stutter. Are you even capable of reciting spells? I was wounded by his cutting words. Riften was walking nearby and jumped to my defense. He flew into a rage because someone dared to scorn his wife, but I was convinced if I was a worthy lady, a fine noble woman without a stutter, they would not have insulted me. The blame is all mine for being the stuttering, incompetent, dim-witted, unsightly Maximilian. Desperate, I asked Ruth if he could use magic to cure my stutter, but he gently told me that was impossible. I worried I wasn't good enough for Riften, and worried more when Ruth accidentally told me a secret. When the king offered Riften Princess Agnes's hand in marriage, some of the knights were supportive of it, smart and beautiful. Agnes fought side by side with Riften in the dragon campaign. I didn't understand why Riften would ever choose to stay with me if he could be with someone like her. I wanted to be a person worthy of his love. I practiced speaking so that my stutter would be less pronounced, and I pushed myself even harder to improve my magic. Soon I could heal injured servants, and a few knights even let me heal them as an apology for the way they treated me before. But one day, both Riften and I were surprised to hear we had an unexpected visitor, Princess Agnes. Would this powerful, beautiful woman full of magical skill win Riften's heart? Would Riften regret staying in our marriage? Enjoyed the recap? Like and comment to let us know, and subscribe to our channel for more content. And as always, be sure to read the official Under the Oak Tree from Amazon to support the author.